Hike 360 here. We're uh, bringing you another hike this week. We are at the Catherine Chevalier Woods uh, in Rosemont and uh, in Cook County, and we are hiking along the Des Plaines River down to North Avenue uh, in Chicago and, uh, and back. So that's gonna be a 11.2 mile hike that we're doing today. Uh, we are right by the airport, O'Hare, right now. That's where these, uh, where this forest preserve is, and uh, so we're gonna get started on this on this trail. Uh, the book warned us that the trail has a potential of uh, getting um, not just muddy, but uh, actually uh, more than puddles of water. Uh, so it's gonna be an interesting, an interesting trail. I'm expecting mud on my shoes. I'm expecting. Uh, to just have to be agile and, and jump around the obstacles that we encounter. Uh, what else do we got going on? Time limit. Time flat, what? We, we have a time limit this hike. We do have a time limit. We're gonna try and do this in four hours uh, because we've got something else we gotta do in the area. So 11 miles in four hours, let's see if we can do it. Uh, also, we are gonna be passing a cemetery or some sort of memorial for uh, Babyface Nelson who along with uh, Dillinger, John Dillinger, uh, killed a whole bunch of FBI agents. So we're keeping our eyes out for that. Let's go kill this hike. <laughs> Alright, we just started and literally the parking lot you can still see trucks and we, <laughs> we've already hit our first year. So, to remind everybody, we are right next to O'Hare. We could not be any more city living except for the forest preserves. This is why we have forest preserves. There is definitely wildlife around here. Hey, guy. Absolutely undisturbed by people. City deers are built different. <laughs> it likes to be built the same. Oh, yeah! Hi, big guy. Oh, so man, this is a cute. Coming out of the parking lot over the bridge, we are going south. First T. Good. You want to do one second? Where are you going the wrong way? That's north. Oh. No, it's not good. <laughs> All right, so I think we got a lot of this deer. Bye bye. I guess we aren't doing it one second. Oh, I'd be happy to. Here we are, walking alongside the Des Plaines River. beautiful. I was telling Ryan that I had a really calm feeling come over me about 10 minutes ago and uh, it was strange that I felt so connected kind of to, to the natural part of this hike even though we're in the middle of civilization you know here is literally walking distance from here and uh, the feeling was, and it took me a while to figure it out, but this is how many of the hikes are in Switzerland. You're just walking along the river on a path like this. And it's, it was calming. Civilization is always right next door. That's kind of the, the misnomer of Switzerland. Everything is very close to everything uh, in terms of nature and people. So. Very, I mean, that's very interesting to just uh, got to be able to grab what you need for the hike and, and sort of disappear off the grid and come yep. back on it real quick. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention was, I'm, oh, there's the planes, if you can hear them. I uh, had a biker. I, I'm getting this feeling again that I, I've talked about before in my videos. Uh, 
like being around people, I actually am enjoying it, just like Starved Rock. Um, this heavy, heavy trail action, uh, traffic on the trails. I don't know, but I really like it. And you know what it is too is, since we're in Chicago, so many people have kind of marked, marked themselves uh, with spray paint or stickers or whatever. I really appreciate that. I, I, I think it's really cool to see people's expressions of self in nature. I think that's just bringing art to a whole nother, not a whole nother level, but a whole nother dimension per se. And uh, so I'm just, I'm having a real good time so far. So we're coming up on Irving Park Road right now. Uh, we're about two and a half miles deep. Lots of turnoffs on this side. There's a lot of opportunity to come back and do whatever you want. To spend a big day here. And you can see you don't need to worry. There are porta potties at the trailheads, but if you're hungry or thirsty, you know, you just walk over there, grab some food. Yeah, BP right across the street there. There's a cabin or forest preserve building over there. Decently crowded. Um, a lot of people walking their dogs or riding bikes. Uh, about half the people are wearing masks, the other half not. This, if you can see the paper bag stuff or plastic bags, this particular section right here is dirty. Yeah. It hasn't been that way for most of the path, so I'm calling it out because I'm noticing it and it's definitely something that is isolated there. I think this is also uh, one of the, I think this is the most dangerous crossing of a road. Uh, this For the path. For this path. Irving Park doesn't have a stop sign or crosswalk, but they mentioned that they're trying to change that. Well, let's hope this is not the last video we take. Yep. Hey, don't get me wrong, this is this is great. This is really great right now. They got a horse crossing sign, so that's good. Make yourself look big. All right, I'm gonna turn it off and concentrate. Yep. I don't know what that is. Maybe River Road. Yeah. Uh, so we made it under. Uh, you can. This is November, so the river is pretty low. Uh, we got a great day today. Holy cow, it's supposed to be almost up to 60 degrees today. We got so lucky this year with weather on Thursdays. And I just want to, despite the sirens in the background, or maybe that's more to my point, is... Look, we're not in the mountains. This is not about... These hikes are not about us getting away and communing with nature on a through hike that's what a through hike does this is about us utilizing the natural resources that are nearby and uh sharing with with everybody else that who cares to be interested that there are some really great natural resources in very close distance to 10 million 9 million people of chicago greater chicago area and then you might as well add Milwaukee into it. And since people are afraid to get on airplanes and can't really cross state lines, like this is, <laughs> this is pretty excellent. <laughs> Ryan posting a sticker. So anyway, I, uh, my opinion is yeah, there's going to be tra uh, pollution, there's going to be litter, it's going to be graffiti, but 
you kind of have to overlook that because we are not in Colorado, Utah, Montana, Western California, Eastern California. Um, well, let's just mention that we're just not there. We're here. We're the, in Chicago. The dangerous crossing, you can just go under the bridge. Yeah, if the water's not too high. This is Indian Boundary Golf Course, and it's about the halfway point. I have halfway had the pleasure... Point, halfway point for one way. For one way. Right. Yeah. I've had the pleasure of playing this once, and one of the guys that works with Joe the Butcher, Al's Meat Market in Lamel. Shout out Al's Meat Market. Prime beef, all you can eat. Uh, <laughs> anyway, Joe's a good buddy. George. Uh, plays here all the time uh, and uh, talks about it frequently. But this is a really a hidden gem. I mean, it's an easy course, but it's in Chicago and it's less crowded than some of the other Chicago public courses. There's going to be a wait, but it's not as bad as many of the others. So I had the distinct pleasure of a par four. It was a short par four. It was 300, just 300 yards. And uh, wind was behind us. And uh, miraculously hit a straight long drive that rolled up through the green and over on the back side. Actually took a look at the hole and kept on going. That was my first recorded 300 yard drive. Oh. I was pretty happy, still am. So that was you? That took place right here, probably like this hole. memories of this place. Yeah, way to go. Well, we just passed the Belmont Bridge. And uh, here is the cemetery, I guess, where Babyface Nelson! Hard to run with a backpack on, isn't it? No, oh, it's the, the, it's the uh, broken knee. Oh. It's the, uh, God, I can't believe that's still harming you. Yeah, three weeks ago I ran 15 miles and uh, I hurt something. So that run you just saw is me pushing hard with the uh, left, the, the right, uh, yeah, the, the correctly working leg. Well, somewhere in here is Baby Phallus Nelson. Oh, Baby Face? A bunch of other people are here too. And the geese. John Dillinger? Or maybe he's not here. I don't know. But uh, Dillinger was a uh, good, good Chicago story on Dillinger set up. And uh, last night at the Lincoln Theater at Lincoln, right next to DePaul there. Lincoln and Fullerton and Halstead. Oh. So these geese are uh, floating with the stream. They were. <laughs> I thought I was going to get a good photo of them when we were under the bridge, and I stopped and waited for a while before I opened the camera, and the geese were gone. They had gone downstream. I got to say, I mean, you can definitely hear the city, but this is a pretty quiet, relaxing hike. We have the trail to ourselves. I mean, there are people we pass, but no more than really any other hike. Mm -hmm. I like, too, how closely it hugs the river. Uh, like, some trails that I've hiked along a river You'll actually lose sight of the river. Uh, this one, not not at all. We're right on the bank of it. as I thought to be underneath. 
in Chicago. We're on the so west side of Chicago. My dad is on the phone with his dad right now. And they don't talk too much, so it's kind of a special moment. Um, not because they're on bad terms or anything, but just because. And uh, so we're, we're coming upon this bridge, which is just about the end of our, of our hike. And then uh, sunset, sunset something here. Sunset Bridge Meadow is the, the name of this, this part. So we cross over the Des Plaines River and we're about six, almost six and a half miles deep. And uh, I'd say we did a pretty good job. Yeah, we're almost at North Avenue now. Then we turn around at North Avenue and uh, do it all again, heading the other way. We'll check back in in a bit.